You may be familiar with the SAT test. Suppose that you had a score of 750 on the math SAT. The SAT test assumes that the distribution of scores is Gaussian, is a standard normal distribution with mean, we'll use the Greek letter mu, equals 500 and standard deviation equals 100. So you may recall that to convert 750 to a z-score, we're going to take 750 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation, which is equal to 750 minus 500 divided by 100 for a z-score of 2.5. And this will tell us how many people are to the left of 2.5. So if we want to know how many people scored a 750 or better, we would like to have the this area, which is going to be 1 minus norm s dist of 2.5. Norm S dist of 2.5 is 0.9938. So 1 minus it, this area here, is 0 0.0062 or 0.62%. So we know that approximately 6 tenths of 1% of people who took the SAT scored at least 750 on the math part if the SAT were correctly normed to people taking the test this year. And over time, the SAT tends to drift out of a perfect norm and they readjust it every few years, but that is the goal and that's the idea. This illustration, which is under Creative Commons license, which I obtained from Wikipedia, shows a number of normal distributions. One of them is a standard normal distribution. See if you can identify which one. Uh, one clue is that its maximum is just about 0.4. So it would be the red one, <clears throat> red one with mean equal zero and variance equal to one. So we would write that as follows. Okay. And these other distributions are also Gaussian. The, um, the idea is that in order to maintain an area of one and use them as probability distributions, if they have a larger variance, they're going to be lower and flatter so that all they all have the same area. So if we have a variance of five, we've got a much lower and flatter object. And if we have a variance of 0.2, we've got obviously a much higher, more centralized object. Okay. So we can represent any Gaussian using this basic mean and variance notation. So for example, this green Gaussian would have the following notation, phi mean of minus two, variance of 